That's why I bought a motorcycle. A, a motorcycle? That would be awesome! See, there's plenty of times I've been behind this dude forever and I wasn't recording and I wasn't ranting and I wasn't all, I'm not mad. I really don't have road rage. I used to. I totally used to be absolute road rage dude. And truth be told, if I still lived in the city and I drove a car, I might still be road ragey. That's why I bought a motorcycle. A, a motorcycle? That would be awesome, but it's probably just called a jet ski. But really, I want one that's universal. I know they have those in ATVs. Look those up. Those are like 20 grand. Like a four-wheeler slash jet ski. But anyway, no, I bought, that's why I bought motorcycles in California and why I rode them for 12 years. So I didn't have to deal with traffic and so I wouldn't be all road raging. But I'm older and I live in a small town now and I don't deal with traffic hardly ever and I don't get road ragey. I just, I blow up the idiots for the camera. You know, some viewers may like that, some viewers may not. But you know, definitely an asshole occasionally, but generally I'm not road raging when I drive and unless somebody's just going terribly slow for no apparent reason, for an extended period of time, I really don't get heated. So, anyway, just a little tidbit in the mutton shop. How you doing? Apologize. Wow. Pulled right in front of the freaking game warden. Holy. You have a light out, sir. Somebody go. Come on, dude Suburban. You were there long before and y'all are both turning. Holy, how you doing? Let me just move right the hell over for you, buddy. You definitely got the right of way. That's the general rule in case y'all didn't know. The bigger vehicle has the right of way. If you don't follow that rule, it could end up in a bad situation. But I was in the, no, okay, you were in the right, you're still gonna end up smashed. Especially that big, holy. Me okay. Hands on the wheel, head on a swivel, ready to make a maneuver. Looking out for the idiotas. All right, just a wee bit of, wee bit of shopping, right? Quick. I, I, I do bring the camera in, but I don't strap her. I don't strap her to my chest or anything. I keep her in my pocket, in case you know I have any Hobbit adventures or the like. You know that one, right? You know about the Hobbit adventures? You know about what? What happened? You are a picker, I am a logger. Hit your girl with my truck like Frogger. Fuckers in my spot. What the hell are they thinking? Man. Cruising for a bruising for sure. Holy. Well, if you're gonna pull in front of somebody, that's how you do it. Throw it in back. Uh, may I get a number two? Add bacon? Yes, sir. Bacon comes on the number two. Oh, it does. Okay, great. Then don't add bacon. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. If I had turbo boost, I could just probably make it over it. You think they look behind them yet? And even though I'm fucking there, let's get it out of the fucking way, douchebag. Why are you stopping? Holy shit, get the fuck out of the way! Whoop, whoop! Man, I got a whole lot of dipshits in front of me, apparently. Glad you're fucking gone. Wow. That's two out of the way. Hell yeah. Look at the old Chevy, dual exhaust. That's C10? 
Gonna be 82, 84? Hell, it might be. Might be 81. And brake lights are pretty dim. I don't know why we're stopping. We're cruising along at 45 and a fucking 55. This is when I'm jealous of, or envious of not having my bike. At the very least, a sports car, holy. Oh good, we're slowing down even more. Thank goodness. Oh, thank fucking cigarette. Get the fuck out of the way. Jesus Christ, fucking park there and die. Hell, if Grandpa and the fucking 30-year-old C-10 can do the speed limit, I'm pretty sure fuck twat could have. When you got old dudes in old trucks showing you up, you're going too damn slow. Oh, shit. That's some skills right there. Back the bus into that fucker. It's a nice wide driveway with nice wide ditches. I don't know what the fuck this cunt's doing. You need to get the fuck out of the way, bitch. You almost got ran straight the fuck over. my new neighbor. That's who almost got run over. My new fucking neighbor apparently. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to drive like that bullshit like you were doing initially. You live on this road. You gonna have to pick up the fucking pace. Uh, we don't drive that slow around here. We don't kind of no crawly slow drivers around these here parts. Meh. Meh, see? Meh.